Hi everyone, and I am here now to show you a very fast and easy way to chop up vocals in Ableton Live 10. So all I've done is I've literally selected a free, I went and downloaded a free sample pack from the internet. It's called Ghost Hack Free, Fem free Female Vocals. So I think I'm safe in using it. And I selected one with the phrase, I can hear your voice. I'm going to start from scratch actually so you can actually see what I'm doing. So all I'm going to do now is literally I can hear your voice. Okay, so that's a sample. Um So I think what we want to do is just just drag it up here and do something with it. So let's do it in here. Just drag it into here. We'll loop it. And we'll just delete these tracks just to keep things clean. So I think what we want to do is with a sample like this that you want to chop up, you want to chop it up nice and clean so you can replay it back. And I, the default for everything in Ableton seems to be beats, but I'll just move this to complex um, so it sounds more natural. And then the thing you need you need to do really in order to chop beats up in Ableton is to select the the words that you want to use. And there are lots of different ways to chop things up. This is just, for me, the the fastest way, and therefore the most creative way, because fast is creative for me. So we just start by getting rid of that one there at the start. So wherever there's a dip, for me, there's a warp marker to be placed or a transient. Just put one there. So one, two, three, there and put one there okay so you've got you should have about four or five samples here there's one right at the back get rid of that so the next thing you do is just right click and select slice to new MIDI this will not be activated if you do not have warp on okay click on that use the you can use any of these, okay, but they will not sound natural. You want to use the one that you've just warped. So you just use warp marker because you know that you've got the start of every word. You just use the built-in slicing preset and press OK. Now, I don't know how this is going to sound, so I'm going to test it out a little bit. I'm going to mute the sample and listen. I, I can hear you. your vo your voice so I've obviously cut your off the start of voice and this last sample seems pointless now but that's all fine and if you actually listen to the way it's been broken up you can just see that it's like that maybe we just make this a bit longer I can hear your voice I can hear your voice I can hear your voice Okay, well, that didn't work quite well, but I think you get the idea. So you put the warp markers in there, you slice to a new MIDI file, and then you've got a, basically, what Ableton does is it puts it into an amazing tool called a drum rack. <clears throat> now, this is designed, I think, primarily for drums, but um, it works really well for um, any, any sort of t sample chopping, including vocals. So the first thing I will tend to do is I will reduce the delay. Let's hit the decay. I can hear your voice. 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 I can hear your What I'm trying to do here is, is just remove I can any hear effects. Your this is not going to remove all the effects, but it will dampen, I can dampen hear the your a bit. I can hear your voice. I can so hear your voice. So reduce the decay, reduce the sustain just a little. I can hear your voice. Just a little bit, reduce I the can release. Hear your and that's about as good as you can get. I mean, the best thing to do is to try and find samples with no effects so you can um, mess around with them yourself. So the next thing I want to do is actually add a reverb and just to make it sound a bit sort of nicer. So. So it sounds nicer when you're playing it back. So let's put in a, a reverb there. I like this one. I use this one all the time. So let's hear it again. I can hear your voice. I can hear your voice. I 
The idea is to make it sound good when you play it back, so we just quickly put a little ping pong thing in there. Yeah, as well. And I'm going to play back. We just want to record it quantized. Just trying to get a simple, very simple drum beat. That's not simple. That'll do. So that's nice and simple drum beat going. And just some, we'll just change the loop length a little bit longer. Now you're just going to remove those MIDI, <coughs> those MIDI um, pieces there, and you're going to arm the track. Just make sure you can play it back. So I'm just making sure I can play it back on the keyboard here. I'm playing on the laptop keyboard. So I don't know what we're going to get. So let's uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so we haven't got to, this is not, you know, Mozart, <laughs> but uh, it's something to mess with. And I think, I mean, what I would tend to do now is try and listen to the best bits. Sounds like crap, but um, you'll soon see there's some method to my madness. Maybe there's nothing. So let's <laughs> let's uh, let's have a listen. Okay. Thank you. 
Right, so I've, um, sorry, I was a bit quiet there. Just for the demonstration here, so just to show you how the, the vocal chop ups can hopefully uh, provide some inspiration. <laughs> So, so right now, if you think you've learned something and you probably switched off ages ago, but you can just switch off now and move on to another video and learn something else. But um, if you want to hang on, there's another trick that I, it's not really a trick, it's actually probably something everyone knows, but I, I think it's useful. So the sample itself sounds kind of cool. Um, let me just increase the um, let me just transpose it. If you listen to it now, sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do is um, going to, uh, this is something I like doing. I really like doing this and I, it's just maybe a, something that I like. <laughs> maybe you don't like it. So I'm just going to flatten the the sample, I've just basically made a new sample. And the other sample's gone forever. So I'm just going to be very quick here and put some new transients. And that'll do. Don't know, I don't know what this is going to sound like, but that's fine. And we're going to do it all over again. So we're going to make a new MIDI track. Warp marker built in. Now it's in the same key, it's just a transposed up. And what we want to do now is is take that MIDI, remove that baby, and literally do it again. So we're going to record more MIDI. And as I said, this might sound terrible, and this or this might sound okay. I, I really don't know what to expect. I'm just going to copy and paste some of the effects from the other the other track to this and all this getting back get tweaked okay so just okay, you can you can hear a bit there it's a little bit too much of a ping pong i think ping pong delay is a bit high let me just tone that actually we want to widen that maybe get rid of the ping pong delay So that's the first thing, and we just want to mess around with the effects a bit, just make a really... Let's get one of these funky presets. <laughs> that's a bit too funky. Let's just... Start of the chain though. That's really just kill the high cut. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what we're gonna get. Let's have a, a go. This is all quantized automatically, so let's listen.
that's the end of the demonstration, really. I just wanted to really, what I think is cool about the vocals is there's just something about when something someone sings that you want to sing along with them and it can inspire the creation for me it does anyway of the entire track you could see here i just you know started duplicating the song and making it longer and started messing around with you know certain things you can chop stuff out take bits and pieces of the loops out and start with the variation and remove this and I don't know, remove that and mess around with the speed and you really I mean there's no limits to you can resample the whole thing. There's there's just no limits to where you can go, particularly with Ableton it's such a cool cool uh, I was gonna say tool, but a cool uh, door. So um, that's the end. Any questions, uh, just put some comments in and um, love to hear from you. If you've got any other types of videos you want me to do um, or to show you, let me know. And um, I really hope you got something out of this. So thanks a lot. See ya.